Hi, I'm Bill Myers. This is my video tip of the week. And this week I'm going to show you how to create lower thirds using Alpha CG. This is the Alpha CG program interface. And to create a lower third, the first thing we do is select the rectangular box. And it'll create a box any size we want. We've got one right there. Let's make it about this big. Now that we've got the box created in position where we want, we're going to select the uh, face color of the box. And that's going over to this menu right here, selecting that. And you can see all the different face colors we have. We can select any of these, and as soon as we select it, it'll make that box that color. But maybe we don't like that specific one. Let's go through here and choose. Uh, I'll show you one that I like a lot. This is blue one right here. So I like that quite a bit. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see it. But you notice that that bars that are horizontal or actually an angle that I don't like. So to fix that, again, I select colors, and I've got the blue one, and I can control the way that this gradient is going. So I can rotate the gradient. You can see how I can rotate it right there. See, I remove this, and the gradient moves there. So I can rotate it any way you want. I want. I kind of like it right there. I think I'm going to leave it that way. And you see, there's my gradient right there, and that's pretty nice. Maybe I ought to rotate it the other way. To do that, again, I can choose it. Let's select this gradient here. I like that one. Uh, that's pretty good. Let's go with that. One thing I don't like about lower thirds is I, I, I prefer them to be a little bit transparent. So let's select the transparency on this and just push it way up. As you, I'll push this number up here, and if you watch here, you'll notice the transparency. Uh, you can see it becoming more and more transparent. That's pretty much what I like right there. Maybe that is a pretty nice one. Now that I've got that created, that's my lower third, I'll probably want to put some text on it. And the easiest way to do that is click this, which is the layer button, add a new layer, and then select text, which is right there. And then in my text presets, I have lots of text presets where I can create my own. But in this case, let's use this one, that text preset there. And let's, uh, we're, we can see already that it's too large. So let's make this one about 36. And uh, you can see that it's got fairly heavy shadows here. So let's take the outline down a number. Let's take the shadow, drop it from a 6 down to a 2. And let's change the font to something that's going to be a little, uh, a little bit more fun than what we have. Let's go up and select a, um, a balloon font. And we'll put our lower third right here. I'll type it in, lower third. And you see how nice a lower third looks. In addition to these things in Alpha CG, I can control the spacing of the lower third. And the way I do that is I just select the whole lower third like that and control the kerning. I can increase the kerning if I like. I can increase the uh, another level of the kerning right there. If I like that, what I can do then is click File, Export Title as Graphic, and I always export as a PNG, which gives me an alpha channel, which means all this will be invisible and only that lower third will show. Anyway, this is how quick and easy it can be to create a lower third using Alpha CG. I'm Bill Myers. To find more video tips like this, go to www.bmyers.com.